Welcome to Kwan's Corner. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make bundae guitar, which is bug soup. Let's get started! Annyeong chingudul, are you guys ready to cook? I'll be honest with you guys, today I'm totally not ready to cook. I'm, I'm like more than excited, I'm kinda scared. Cause we're gonna cook bandegi tang. Bandegi is silk warm cocoon and tang is soup. So basically bug soup. Here's our bandegi, it's a canned silkworm. I mean, a lot of Korean likes it. I think I had it a lot when I was young, but I don't really enjoy the taste. I'll be honest with you guys. So, like, same as a chemchi mayo dubbao. I made it, Sarah liked it, and people like it, but I didn't like it even though I cooked it. So, I'm not sure I will actually like it. So, <laughs> Last episode, I actually <laughs> threw up. I don't know, I might throw up again today or not. We will find it out soon. So, are you guys excited to see me puke? Let's get started! This recipe is very simple. It will take 7 minutes max. So, to get started, we need a quarter of an onion. So, get an onion and cut it into quarters. And slice thinly and put to the side next we need a quarter of green onion is that the, what it called quarter stem of the green onion quarter stick of green onion a quarter of a green onion next we need a quarter of a green onion Ooh, i said it oh my god how did i say that slice thinly but i'm gonna slice diagonally so it can be prettier but cut it however you like Cut it however you like And put to the side What's your job? Do you want green onion? But you can't eat green onion Madong madong It's all mine Madong madong He's doing like this Annyeong Annyeong Good boy Next, we need a spicy pepper. I got really spicy spicy pepper, which is a Cheongyang gochu. But if you don't like spicy food, get the mild spicy pepper. So cut the stem and slice thinly. Ooh, spicy. Oh, oh, oh. And put to the side. You wanna taste? Just one. You know, you know, you always make me taste it. Please, 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 please. What are you gonna do for me? Uh, oh, that. <laughs> I don't know, what do you want? Yeah, think about it. Ah, uh, how's it? How's it? Fine. No freaking way. It smells spicy and I'm sweaty. Fine. No, you're trying to fool me. <laughs> no, you're trying to fool I know what's going on here. Clever move, but I'm a clever. Uh. <laughs> Just try one. What? Just try one. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't even. Just no. Try one. No, it's really spicy. <laughs> Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, you go. Build that. Are you just? <coughs> are you freaking serious? Okay. It's. Oh, maybe you didn't have the big one. Try. I'm no. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, my nose. Oh, I feel like it went to my nose. Oh, oh. Ah. Isn't that spicy? I'm sweating a lot. It's okay. Grasshopper became the master. Ooh, <laughs> We're done preparing the vegetable and now it's time to open up the can. It's the bundegi and I'm gonna open it and show you what it looked like. Open up the can! Ooh, oh my god, the color is scary. I gotta show you guys. Kinda look like a sewer water with the cockroaches on it. <laughs> oh, that's what it looked like. I'm so sorry. Uh, 
Oh, smells like gosho. What? It smells like a uh, street vendor that's like really familiar and my childhood smell. When I was young, I went to beauty park with my family a lot. In there, we could borrow a bicycle and a roller blades. Me and my brother rode it a lot. And after you rode it like a two hour, you get hungry and you start smelling the bandage. And that time, like I don't know, my mom. Asked actually never cooked this at home so I don't know when you cannot have it you kind of want it even though you don't really like it so me and my brother used to get it with my family and it was kind of fun experience but when I grew up and I ate it before and I realized I don't really like it but it smells like my childhood that's interesting you wanna smell it? <laughs> why? what is it? what is this? what does it smell like? Is this bug smell like? I don't know, to me it doesn't smell like a bug. Okay, I will show you guys what it looked like. Anyway, that's what it looked like. You can see all their wrinkles and I don't know. Yeah. Very yeah. Okay, put to the side. Get your pot, pour all of your bandage. It is about 280 grams of bandage. And make sure. Ooh, I'm smelling so much. And make sure to use all the water in there. Next, get your water and fill half of the can and pour it into pot. And turn your stove on high heat. I know bandage looks really gross and this is bug. You might think it's disgusting and dirty, but as far as I know, silkworm, they keep themselves very clean. You cannot feed any food that use pesticides to the silkworm. When they're cocooned, to get the silk, you have to boil it. So bandage itself doesn't really have a bacteria, but since you boiled it, it kills all the bacteria. So it's very disgusting clean bug and just so you guys know bug and insect is Future food when we're running out of the resources. You're gonna start eating bugs in the future. So it is <laughs> People start eating bandegi after Korean War. During the Korean War, everyone was starving. So after they boiled silk worm to get silk, instead of throwing out, they start eating it because it has a lot of protein. It has seen Koreans pain and suffering. So people like to eat bandegi tang with soju. When you're pain, you gotta drink. So once it's boiling, add a quarter tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of red pepper flakes, half a tablespoon of soup soy sauce and let it boil for about two to three minutes after two to three minutes add your vegetable all of it and let it boil it for about one more minute after a minute that's it our bandage tongue aka bug soup is all ready to eat Eating time! <laughs> That's it! So, to feel the full Korean effect, you gotta get soju. So, get your favorite soju and let me smell it first. Hmm, not so much like a street vendor, it's more like a fresh smell with the bug smell. <laughs> the bug smell is kinda blended in with the fresh fragrance. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Thank you for watching! Annyeong! Be a man! Kwan, be a man! Can I get a be a man in a chat? <laughs> okay, let's try. It's actually not that bad. It's better than a strip bender for sure. Oh, it's getting stronger. <laughs> it's getting. Oh, more I chew. I feel it. <laughs> oh. You know, I understand why this is a good chaser for the soju. I am keep looking for the soju, it cleanses it out so well. If I ate one spoon, I want one cup of soju. It's very good chaser.
I had to explain the flavor, but I rinsed it out. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Not bad. So far, not Ooh, getting. Their aftertaste is very strong. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I memorized it. Can I explode? Can I drink it? What? Oh. It's so really nice. Like the flavor is so kuzu. Like a very toasted and umami. That's how it start for like a half a second. After that, you kind of feel the texture. First, like a leek and an onion. Like texture is very strong. So it's like asa asa. But after that, kind of get like crunchy. Like you know what I mean. Like oh. so. Like after like asa asa one second or two second after, it's like. What you're thinking, what you're hearing in your ear, that's what it's like. And then I had some like juices coming out and then it's the taste of the silk warm cocoon. Like toasted and earthy, but kind of little nasty. I don't want to say nasty to my my dish, but kind of kind of like a tiny bit. You know, like some flavor, more you chew, more you taste it. That's what it is. Like you don't taste at first because you mix with the other soup, but more you chew, more you feel it and taste it. Like it's more like like all the juice coming out and then like making a, some kind of heavy metal. I'm not saying heavy metal is bad. This is not my type. Very strong. Ooh, soju tastes really good. Now soju tastes really good. If you wanna ever wanna make soju taste good, here we go. My mom says she's really good at it, but she never made it for me. So I'm gonna call my mom and ask her about it. Oh, ma. 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 아, 한마디 해봐. 나도 보고 싶다고 얘기했죠. 아니, 그냥 얘기하면 돼, 엄마. 다 들려. 그래, 엄마도 너무너무 보고 싶고, 엄마도 미, 우석이하고 같이 요리하고 싶고, 우석이 코로나 때문에 못 봤어, 너무 슬프고. 근데 유튜브 맨날 보게 되니까 응. 아들 만나는 것 같고, 너무너무 좋아. 알았어. 엄마, 딴건 아니고, 엄마 번데기탕 잘한다 그랬지. 뭐, 뭐, 뭐를? 번데기탕. 번데기탕이 아니고, 번데기 볶아가 반찬하는 거. 아, 볶음만 잘해. 탕은 말고. 아 그래? 먹으면 맞지? 아니 한 번도 안 먹어봤어. 한 번도 안 먹어봤어? 어. 엄마 오면 내가 만들어줄게. 오케이. 엄마 번데기 볶음은 잘해? 볶음은 잘하지 반찬으로 먹는. 그러면 사람들이 먹고 싶다 하면 가르쳐 줄수 있어? 그렇지 그렇지. 엄마가 너무 좋아하는 음식인데. 엄마 좋아해? 근데 왜한 번도 안 해줬어? 너네들이 싫어했다. 옛날에 애 어릴 때 해주니까 너네들이 아, 너무 싫어. 아 해주긴 싫어. 했어 집에서? 그럼. 먹은 기억이 없어. 어, 애기 때라서 그래서 너네들 너무... 어릴 때는 고기만 먹으려고 그러고 아, 아 맞아 맞아. 맞아. 그럴 수 있지. 소팸이나 뭐 고기 같은 맞지. 거 있잖아. 어, 특히 너는 그런 반찬 아니면 밥을 안 먹었으니까. 어 맞아 그런 거 엄마 얘기하지 마. 오케이 사랑해. 나도 사랑해요. 보고 싶어요. 나도 보고 싶어요. 빠빠이. 어, bye bye. Uh, I was a little confused. She never cooked bandegi tang, but she made a bandegi bokum, which is a stir fry version of the bug, and she make it as a snack too. And she said, if you guys want it, she can make an episode for you guys. And don't comment it if you're not gonna try. <laughs> So comment it if you want to try. She says she never tried the soup version of the bandigi, so maybe after pandemic, I can make it for her. Sarah's vegan and I don't like bandigi, but my mom actually likes bandigi. So when she's come over, I will make this for her so I can prove this soup is really good. But I don't like it. Okay, just one last bite. Bug ASMR.
that's it for today's episode and if you liked it or if you think this is useful please hit the like button that will help my channel a lot and if you have any interesting korean dishes that you want me to cook please comment down below then i'll make sure to cover it in a future episode what time is it time to announce jingle of the week so jingle of the week is Miss Cheshire Tan, thank you so much for trying my ramen recipe and it looked really delicious. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep cooking delicious food and if you're cooking my food, please tag me and make sure shop <laughs> and make sure shop at quantscolor.com. Thank you to all my Patreon. Economic Krista Domage, Secretly Nancy Robert, Samantha Shannon, Salander, Paulini Lomi, Miss Shashar, Kelly Spencer Lake, Mr. Mrs. Gavin, Gia Joy Sue, Drop the Mic. <laughs> Yeah! Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit subscribe and the like button. And if you wanna see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!